Yo, yo, you can hear yourself? Yeah, yo. Yeah. Turn this down a little bit. Yo, yo. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get it. Yes, sir. What's up, Las Vegas? It's your boy Eric Stacks from my rap mentor, representing Hot 702.5 FM. Let's get it. Let's get it. Today, let's get it. I got a special guest. I'm gonna let him introduce himself right after this. We're going to be talking about basically how to become a better performer. Now, I saw your IG and stuff, and it looked like you get down with the performances. Yeah, so sure. I thought like you would definitely be the right person to, you know, yeah. drop a little knowledge on the viewers. Yeah, now, exactly. before we get into it, follow me on IG at E R I C underscore S T A C K Z. Also, you know, look at the show live on Facebook and the Mixer app at Hot 702.5 FM. Let's get it. Um, matter of fact, uh, what I was about to say is, I don't know if you've seen the show, but. Uh, yeah. The concept of the show is pretty much I bring other like artists, entrepreneurs, uh, influencers, and the whole goal is to teach like, um, you know, the up and coming artists, you know, just how to, is somebody calling? Is it? Yeah, yo, hello? We in? Yo, yo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who this is? How you doing, my brother? Sound familiar. Who this is? Oh, uh, man, you already yeah, I know, man. It's Goldie Hawk. Uh, from uh, Chicago, uh, man. <laughs> Tune in. Here. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Hey, we got, um, before we uh, introduce yourself, man, I got a guest right here, man. You probably never met him, obviously, but introduce yourself. What's up? Yourself, what's up? My, uh, my name is Tay Benz. You feel me? I'm a Las Vegas artist, local Las Vegas artist. You feel me? Uh huh. Um, uh, yeah. Born what's, and raised in Las Vegas. What's up, my brother, man? How you doing? You got any questions? How you, you feel, man, man? Oh, man. Um, man. For one, hold on. For one, I just want to say, man, I love, I love what you're doing, man, with the whole, with the, the, the whole content, the conversations, man, just the, the mentoring. Man, that's a lot you can learn from tuning in, man. I tune in almost all the time on Friday just to see what the next topic is about, man. I'm loving it, man. I love the content, man. You're doing a good job out there, brother. For real, for real. Thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, man, I, uh, I'm glad you like it, man. I try to bring on dope guests. I got a super dope guest today. Yeah, I heard yeah, his song, good. too. That song hot, too. We yeah, definitely going to play bro. it. Yeah. So uh, yes, thank you, thank you, man. Anything else you want to say? Of course. Oh, man, no, man. I just want uh, just showing love, man. That's all. I'm, uh, I stay, I stay in tune with the YouTube videos, man. I'm just, I'm just looking, looking to see what's next, man. But y'all go ahead and do y'all thing. All right, thank you, Shot Town Love, nigga. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's my homie from Chicago. So, uh, to the viewers, man, um, introduce yourself and tell them where you're from. You know what I mean? Let um, me get to know you. Yeah, my name uh, Tay Benz. You feel me? I'm born and raised in Las Vegas, north side of Las Vegas. You feel me? Um, I've been rapping for probably like. Um, like a year now. A year? Yeah, I just started. You good? Uh, like a year. You good to be rapping? Yeah. I thought you have been rapping way longer. High sound. Yeah. It don't sound uh, like a year. Thank you, bro. Thank you, okay. bro. I, I've been writing and stuff since I was like probably like fourteen, fifteen. Oh, okay, okay. But that you know, I just then. started taking my music seriously. Oh, as far like, as the career. As far as like okay, career, okay, like a year sense. ago. Yeah, as far yeah. as like doing videos and going to the studio and learning how to record and learning how to you feel me, um, put together video uh -huh. shoots, learning how to do shows and stuff. And um yeah man it's it's been a real like it's been a real good experience. So if you uh is you from Vegas? I'm from Vegas. Yeah, oh, born okay. and raised in Las Vegas. You okay, feel okay, okay. Yes, so what got you? Okay, you said you've been writing since yes. uh pretty much a young age. Yes, what sir. what got you into like what made you want to even start writing? Start right. Um personally like like the stuff like I've been like going through like, uh -huh. like as far as like you know what I've been seeing and what I've been experiencing and stuff at a young age and stuff like that so i i didn't, couldn't express myself in no other way but when i started writing you feel me mm -hmm. it was like a you know like a, a way for me to get my feelings out get my what, what mm -hmm. i'm trying to express you feel me what i'm trying to tell somebody i could uh tell to but i can't tell them uh -huh. so I, I just feel like okay i could tell everybody you feel me if you know i can write and you know put my put my passion in it so okay that so, makes sense so how long would you say you was writing until you was thinking you know what i want to take this as a career because it's a big I, step some yeah, people yeah, write yeah, yeah. but you know the career part is a big step yeah, so what made real. you think like you know what i'm ready to do this as a career as a career man like just seeing like the people around me like uh -huh. my, like my uncles and my cousins like they be going to the studio and like you feel me they show me their songs and like they be slapping you know and i'll go <laughs> to the studio with them and they just be vibing in the studio like the studio really made me i want to say like take it serious uh -huh. like, I really fell in love with the studio when the first time I went to like an actual studio, uh -huh. you know, because you know we record songs like we sometimes we do it at the house, you know, you feel me on some. Oh, some somebody vibe. calling again. We getting calls in here, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, seven oh two point five. 
Who I'm speaking to? Hello, hello. Who am I talking to? This is Coco Chanel, singer, songwriter, dancer. Okay, okay. Like, uh, you got any questions? What you What you want to get off on your chest? Um, I'm excited to be speaking with you guys today. Um, I want to ask about how long have you guys been doing this? What as far as uh, uh as far as what? Radio. The radio, uh, the radio station, as far as I know, don't quote me on this because the radio station been around before I came. I'm kind of new to Vegas, period. So I've preferably mm-hmm. only been doing it for a couple months, but the, uh, I'm pretty sure the radio station been around for a couple years. I'm pretty sure. Wow, that's so dope. What you two I'm in a lot? Um, this is my first time. I was hit up to um, do an interview with you guys. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Yeah, yeah. We said uh, dope interviews. We got uh, my man Ty Bands here. Uh, if, I don't know if you watch the other shows. Even other shows, we we definitely bring in nice artists. So we'll definitely talk, like, once we talk a little more personally, once we, you know, off air or whatever. Right, right, right. All right, babe. Uh, you okay. know how to find me on Instagram? What is your Instagram? Uh, E-R-I-C underscore S-T-A-C-K-Z. B R I C. Yep. Underscore S T A C K Z. No big facts. I got you. Huh? All right, you got it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, let me get back to this interview. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Yeah. So glad they calling in. We getting a lot of call ins, man. Yes, so, uh, so back to what we were saying. You were saying like um, that uh, your uncles and cousins got. Got you into the career part? Yeah, big facts. So did they influence you, like, did they, like, tr- per- did they influence you directly, or you kind of just got the... I, I kind of fed off their energy, uh-huh. you know? I, I, um, you feel me? Like, they, they, uh, I see them writing, and I see them, you feel me? Like, actually taking it serious, so I'm like, okay, like, let, let, let me put my little flavor uh-huh. in and see what I can do myself, and see how, if I can take off, you feel me, how they doing it, you know? Uh-huh. And, and ever since then, bro, I'm telling you, like, it's been, like... Awesome. Really positive success. I talking to Michael a little bit, my bad. <laughs> oh, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, it's been real like positive success, bro. Uh-huh. Like, for real, for real. Yeah, yeah, so um how did you get like how did you get good so quick? Cause you said I know yeah. you've been writing for a while, but uh yeah, yeah. but the writing and the actual like getting in the studio performing part, yeah, big fact. It's like almost two different things. Yeah. So what would you say contributed to you making that jump? Because a lot of people that usually like I heard your song, you sent it to me, and yeah. most people I could tell they've been rapping a year, but you, yeah. I didn't get that feeling. So how did you get that good so quickly? Like on the performance side? The- um, my passion, bro. Uh-huh. Like, like my, like, you feel me? Like I, I take music like real, real serious. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like once I put my full like dedication and my, my full, you know, like, um, uh, 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 energy into uh-huh. it, you know, it, 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 it sound, it come out sounding good. And then when you like performing, when I get on stage, bro, no lie, like my first performance, <laughs> I was nervous, man. My first performance, yeah. I'm like, I don't know if people gonna rock with me. Like, like I wanted That's why to, I imagine it too. Today. Yeah, exactly. So then, bro, when I just start performing, bro, like, like literally, when I just, I just felt the vibe from you the snapped crowd. Snapped in the zone. Like, yeah, I snapped yeah. in the zone. It's been up from there, man, for real. So was your, uh, was your first performance good? Uh, honestly, bro, my first performance was like, it was like last year, bro, in September, and and, and like, um. It was probably like, I wouldn't say like, my supporters wise, it was like four or five people uh-huh. that came. Uh-huh. Uh, um, it was like my first performance, it was like a little showcase, and um, it was pretty cool. Like, like I felt like even though, like you feel me, it was like only four or five of my yeah. supporters, but other people gravitated towards. Oh, they gravitated towards. So too. it was like, yeah, it was it was cool. And then like, since that performance, bro, like my like my supporters, they come out now. Like they mm-hmm. see me like putting in work and they see me like you know actually taking it serious so they come mm-hmm. out now and it, it's it's get expand more and more growing and growing you had yeah. to be good too to uh yeah. convince strangers it's one yeah, thing people you know because they might be biased but if you can convince yeah. strangers then yeah. you good you good yeah. thank you bro so uh what what would you say was who was like your musical influences or like overall just like man i grew up listening to lil wayne bro uh-huh. hot boys <laughs> I don't know if you're familiar with the Hot Boys. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Come on. The Hot Boys, man. My uncle. I'm going to rap into it. Yeah, the hot boys. you feel me? <laughs> like, like the, the whole down. Because uh-huh. my people are from Louisiana. Oh, okay, okay. Louisiana. But, you know, 
we we was born and raised out here like my cousins uh-huh. and stuff but my mom knew from louisiana so um we've been doing like uh yeah yeah so uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, talk to the mic. Yeah, yeah, we've been doing like um, uh, the down south vibe, bro. Uh huh. Like, like Lil Wayne and the Hot Boys, bro. Like Juvie, Turk. Uh huh. All of them, bro, really influenced me. For so, real, for did real. they influence you, like overall, as far as the performance side, the music, or they 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 performed me as far as like the like the actual, not to say like look of it, but like you know, because they was back then they was big time, you know, bling yeah, yeah, bling, yeah, you yeah, feel they, me? They so was, they they, they, they made me, the back then yeah, sauce. like the back then songs <laughs> made me like, okay, hold on, let me let me see if I can, you know, get the bling bling, and then like, yeah, yeah. Since then, man, like, but it was like Lil Wayne as an artist, bro, like his like the way he he flow his bars, yeah, you know, even along longevity, man. I can't yes. believe he's been around for so long, exactly, man. Exactly, man. Lil Wayne is the truth, bro. Uh-huh. He, I really look up to Lil Wayne, bro. Like, he, he, he the goat in my eyes. Yeah, yeah. You feel I, me? I wouldn't, I wouldn't fight you on that one. Yeah, for <laughs> sure, for sure. So, uh, as far as your uncles, they, their uncles and cousins, they still do music and stuff. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, uh-huh. my uncle right here, he still do his music. Shout he out to uncle, horns, yeah. Right um. Yep, and my <laughs> uh, sh- uh, shout out uh, Mike, the, the kid fresh. You feel me? Uh huh. Yeah, he, he, he on his, he still be on his grind. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Um. Man, it's, it's a lot of people that, that like coming up that I seen. You mm-hmm. know? So I'm assuming they give you advice and stuff like. Uh, did Yo, they give oh, you yeah. advice on the? Pro- did you also like study their performances and stuff too? Since we had it for those, that's too yeah. Many, we we're gonna be letting him drop some jewels. He the mentor yeah. of the day. He gonna be dropping <laughs> jewels on like basically how to c- become a better live performer. So yeah, we're gonna get into that. But we talking about a little bit right now. So as far as uh your live performance, did like did uh did you get like. Did you get uh, advice from like your circle, like your uncles and stuff that yeah. happened before? Yeah, big facts. Um, they basically telling me, you know, since like since the first performance, the main part that you wanna, you know, um, remember when you perform uh-huh. is make sure you have, you know, enough breath. Like, don't be moving <laughs> yeah. around. You know what's crazy? Much, you know what's crazy? Like, um, that was one actually one of like the first little, you know, little notes I had in there. Yeah, had, like, big facts. <laughs> the breath yeah. control. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's just get <laughs> yeah. into it right now. Okay. Effie, let's just get into it right yeah. now. So yeah, number one, I think is breath, breath. control. So breath you know, control, explain man. to the audience. Like, okay, now when you explain it, explain it because I know you've been doing it for a while. So. Yeah. But explain to the audience as if you was talking to you when you first started doing it so this is the mindset okay. we in right now um so breath like control, like, let's like give that. them like advice on what yeah, not yeah. to do no what not to do what to do what to okay. make it easier you um, know but more so if assuming that they haven't performed much they're just starting you know okay like the, yeah okay so the the first part i would say i would say like um control your nerves because oh, yeah. once you're nervous, it's hard to hear what you're saying and pronunciating, mm-hmm. like your words and stuff. So once you control your nerves, um, just just basically come in with the mindset like I, I know like, I can do this. Uh-huh. Like, I, I'm passionate about what I can do, and uh-huh. I know I got talent. You know, so just make sure you got that mindset. And then two, I would say like um. Well, well, okay. How did you get that mindset? How did I get say, that mindset? Yeah, they might say like, I, man, bro. <laughs> it, it, it it took me it took me a while because like um. <laughs> I, I I used to have like low confidence in uh-huh. myself, bro. And then like one day I just like I was writing I was writing a song uh-huh. and I'm like, hold on, like I'm really talented. <laughs> I'm you, know, like, I got, like, you know, I got potential. So man, like since that day forward, like, I just been putting like 110 percent in everything I do. Uh-huh. So I kind of found that confidence on my own. Like it was a learning experience. The learning on my experience. Own. Did it take long or? It took me probably like I want to say like a couple months after I dropped my first song, you know? Okay, okay. So like, and then when I did my first performance, I, I was like kind of solid. Like I felt the energy off mm-hmm. the other people. And then like, since then. Okay. N- no, it been rocking. <laughs> yeah, it been rocking for so, sure. So uh, another like thing, I, I what helped me too is uh, studying other great performers. So do you yes. believe in that? Yes. And, and you know, it's crazy, man. And he, he only been out for a year, but the baby is a, a, yes, a, yes. amazing I'm not gonna lie. performer. Not gonna lie. I, especially um, like uh, what I admire about the baby. Because at first, I ain't going to lie. I didn't give him a chance. I'm yeah. not biased, but yeah. usually when you don't like the baby. The it ba- takes yeah, a while. Yeah. I ain't yeah. going to lie. But uh, when I like listen to his music sauce performance, he has like, even though he in the street lane, he got this yeah. certain he got that, like, swag and charisma yeah, confidence. So. Big facts. And, and I feel like it's his creativity. Uh-huh. That's what yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. He's very creative. Uh-huh. And the way he like do his, you know, his shows and his, you feel me, his music, his mm-hmm. videos. Mm-hmm. So like I pick up, I, I pick up from him. I like, definitely in now think he's era, uh, era. one of the better new performers. Yes, big facts. Uh, what about facts. Uh, in like your beginning getting stage? Did, is anybody you looked up to um, or at least studied? As it don't even have to be rap. Yeah, it don't yeah. have to be rap. Um, whatever. 
man, like you, like um, I saw like rappers. I want to say like yeah, it don't even have to be rap. It could be a country singer. I don't really oh care. yeah, <laughs> it could oh be yeah, whatever, oh bro. oh, Chris Brown, bro. Chris Brown, Chris oh, Brown, yeah, bro. Yeah. He's on the whole another yeah, level, yeah. bro. <laughs> Chris Brown, like he, uh-huh. he he he's cold to me. Amazing performer as well. I used to. He's probably. One I of wish the, I can dance like him too. But wish. if I had that dancing, I wish stuff, I had like a speck of his. Yeah, list. you feel me? Like <laughs> if I can dance like Chris Brown, do some dance moves. I I add that to my performance sets, but. You know, yeah, I can yeah. dance. I, I don't. I don't dance. I be jigging. That's what that <laughs> Come is. close, like yeah, in like swag yeah, dance. Yeah, I be, I be swag dance. So uh, I heard the song that uh, you did when you when you sent it to me. Hot song, by the way. Yeah, thank you, thank uh, you, thank you. I noticed your flow was like very consistent. Yes. So have you performed that song before? Nah, yeah. I'm po- I, actually I'm performing <laughs> that song in December. I'm I'm okay. going out to Reno, okay. opening up for Haiti, baby. So I'm curious. Now you were yeah. saying breath control, and yes. I'm a firm believer in certain songs. If you're newer, certain songs should be catered towards performance. Be it fast. does sound like you can perform that song, but I noticed your flow was very consistent. Yes. How? What advice would you give Man. a young artist for something like that? Because I heard yeah. the consistency. Yeah. He was barely taking commas. Yes. So. Like, Man, <laughs> you saw, like as far as like actually recording that no verse, no like as far as like um like performing it because yeah. you ain't gonna you know you're gonna yeah. be moving you're moving and stuff i mean i look <laughs> and i just started this not too long ago bro and and i i think i i heard this from meek mill he was like uh i think it was one of the interview he uh-huh. like man go to the gym bro put yeah. your music in i do that and run and run on the treadmill and rap your lyrics i do that i do that yeah, yeah. And, I'm about, and i started doing that bro and i'm about to i'm about to keep doing that because for back no it work you it know? definitely work uh yeah i noticed like i can keep my your, you know your projection higher for a longer exactly. period yeah yeah exactly. so uh tell the audience yeah like yeah get your ass in the gym yeah go, go, to, the, lazy. go, go to the gym man you know, get on that treadmill put your music <laughs> in you know <laughs> and, and put it on like a decent don't be going slow you feel like yeah, put on a decent amount of speed, gym. Of speed like. you know? <laughs> and start and start uh <laughs> Let's do a little rap, cardio your song. run yeah, outside the cardio. Gym, yeah it don't necessarily gotta be in the gym you know you can run around the block or something you know yeah so uh do you do you specifically make like uh certain songs cater towards performance or do you make the songs and then you pick out what's better to perform like what's your process Uh, uh, my process is Uh bro i I write every day and i Mm -hmm. I write bangers every day you feel Mm -hmm. me so whatever song i write i do like choose okay what type of performance i'm Mm -hmm. going to okay so i'm feeling like um like for instance, like the song I sent you today, mm-hmm. I know I I will have to you know perform that at a more turned up yeah, performance. Yeah, you gotta know? be in the gym. Yeah, gotta be. Like, yeah, so like, minutes. yeah, exact, <laughs> exactly, bro. <laughs> so that that that's how that's my process. Uh-huh. Basically, I I just pick and choose with songs like I feel like it'd be best for that night, you know, because uh-huh. you know I, I go in, I peep the scene out, you know, you know I put all my music on the flash drive, mm-hmm. so. Well, oh, I feel, so. I, yeah, okay, that, that's how I do that. it too as never well. You know, I put mm-hmm. all my music, all my songs on the flash drive, and when I'm at the performance, I probably go in with like songs I want to know oh, I want to perform. I never but then I say peep that. the vibe, that's bro, smart. and I'd be like, okay, maybe I should perform this song instead. Yeah, of me do I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you that's know, that's smart. So yeah. you'll like, you'll kind of like, you will have some songs in mind, you yes, know, but. You will have like most of your, all your songs on the hard drive, so you can yes. kind of like pre DJ yourself. I, in exactly, a sense. like peak the vibe. That's, exactly. Hey, yes, that's that exactly that. what I do, bro. Yeah, hey, no, sir. Yeah, that's how I'm gonna promote this one. Yeah, okay, thank <laughs> yeah, you. Yeah, 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 that's uh, that's smart. So, uh, how did you learn that? Like, was man, it experience I, or what? It, like, it was it was experience, bro. And then like I, it was like some I just thought of like like one one night I'm performing, bro. I'm like, okay, like I'm peeping the scene. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, okay, I know I got to perform like one of my first bangers, like one of the people, like everybody know, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, 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 uh, um, cause, it, bro, it was like, um, shout out Mac Movement. It was a Mac Movement, um, performance. I was opening up for Ocho Dripping. Mm-hmm. And, um, it was like basically like, like a Cali vibe in there, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was like all these people from Cali. And, um, and I was like, man, I, I need to perform my first banger, like the first banger uh-huh. that I put everybody on, like <laughs> to my music and stuff. And I performed that song, man. New and went crazy, bro. Uh-huh. I was I was planning on performing a whole another song, like something I literally just dropped like a couple of days uh-huh. ago. And then I was like, nah, I gotta go with the original banger. Uh-huh. And then you know they they actually gave me a more time to perform, so I got to perform both. Songs. Oh, okay, so okay, cool. cool. That's yeah. actually like a really smart tactic. I never heard yeah. anyone say that. So no, you'll yeah, have songs yeah. that you kind of have in that you mind. know you might in mind. Yeah. But just off the the vibe, the vibe you know. at the show or the show, whatever you showcase, you know, wherever you uh, at, you know. So I'm assuming just to know all your songs good enough to yes. be perfect, you obviously got to do a lot of practice before you. Even. Yes. So yes, on that, so like you religiously be practicing your music even before, even before, bro. Like even like during the day, like performance, I get I go in the mirror, bro, and I play my song, uh-huh. you know. 
and, and like literally look at myself like, okay, so this is how people gonna look at me. That's a, well, not, not to you stop you. That's another thing too for yeah. those of you because like obviously we're talking to you know younger people yeah. that don't perform a Facts. lot of ones that do, but that's another way. If you don't get a lot of shows, yes. I do think another way. Like he just said, I like what you said that perform in the, in mirror, the mirror and see how yourself looks. So exactly. you know, go back, touch back on that. Yeah. Way. So um. I, I I go in the mirror bar and I look like okay this is how people gonna see me you know when I perform uh -huh. and do stuff so I I just make sure I, I I first have my breath and stuff right make sure I'm looking right you know because you don't want a bad you know <laughs> a bad vibe when you're performing like looking you know, all crazy looking all crazy and, yeah dehydrated and stuff so I just be like let me look at myself so when people look at me they know like. Mm -hmm. And okay, I think that helped kind of with uh, your video movements and stuff, too. So, yes. you know how to, like, turn up on the videos yes. and stuff. Thank so, yeah, man, I can tell, like, you're really, now I'm kind of, since I'm getting in your mind state, I can see, like, no, you're really passionate about this. Yes, now, you're sir. just not doing this because it's I'm not, a new trend. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, like, this is something I really love. And, um, I like, personally, like, um, like, the fame and stuff, like, it's cool. I know it come with mm -hmm. it. But, you know, I'm just trying to, like, make a living for my family. Yeah, you know, yeah. like, I'm just trying to, you know. Of course, exploit my talents out, mm -hmm. but I still want to you know be. Hum I'm humble, mm -hmm. you know. Stay humble, and remain humble. Mm -hmm. Like no matter if I blow up or not. Like that's what I'm in for. It. Like this is what I want to do. So it don't matter if I blow up or not. You know, yeah. I do something I really love. So yeah. I'm gonna keep doing it regardless. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. I'm gonna do it regardless. So what do you? What is you just? Are you just a passionate person overall? Overall, I am. So. Everything I do, if I don't do it right the first time, it, it'll bother me, and I'll go back and do it again. <laughs> like, okay, this is how I'm supposed to do it. You know, uh -huh. I'm just passionate about everything so I do. So, even speaking of that, I like how you said, um, like, looking in the mirror, perform. I think yes. that's, like, that's one of the things I used to do when I, like, knew I was, like, want to perform, but I haven't had a lot of experience. Yes, sir. Definitely the treadmill thing. That definitely yes. works. You better run your ass on the block. Yeah, no, you for real. Do. Go around the corner, <laughs> you feel me? There's and um, another thing, too, like you said, you uh, you obviously, if you don't do it right, you, uh, you, you go back and back and forth on it. Yes, sir. Another thing I think, too, is it's good to get yourself recorded performing so you can kind of yes. critique yourself. Exactly. So what do you think about that? Uh. I always make sure somebody's recording me mm -hmm. before I'm like, okay, put y'all cameras out. It, it's the people I come with to the performance. Like, mm -hmm. okay, make sure you, at every angle, you know, get, get me so when I look at this video, I know what not to do next time I go back mm -hmm. on stage. I know if I'm, you know, not looking at, like, especially, I one thing I do have to work on is eye contact. Eye contact? I have to work on I, I have to work on <laughs> eye contact because I, I seem to... And that's Look crazy. Everywhere, I, had, I had that in a uh, in a little yeah movie too. Big but um, keep eye contact. Keep that in mind. So when we start, yeah. but I gotta play your song. So okay, okay, know, thank you. Yes, yes, sir. Then, yes, sir. Keep what eye contact in mind. So yes, sir. Let me uh, do this. Turn it up, who bought a band, man, let's get it Only hit my phone and buy some gadgets It ain't about money, quit talking, I'm ballin' like sports. It's my time to get it, ayy This VVS bustin' they diamonds Don't look at my neck, I might blind you I feel like Birdman, I'm a stunner They still in my style like I'm gunner I'm Tay Bass and Hottish, you know how I'm coming. Is you buy the bag or what? You got the cash or what? I know that they talking, I know that they doubting, But I ain't getting mad at nothing They hating, don't phase me, no I'm bringing paper home 702 to my city, I'm taking off, I'm putting Vegas on Hey, don't worry about me, I ain't worried about you Yeah, they call me Tay Bans, what you heard about me Catch me doing the dash when I'm pulling off I don't need me a key, no, it's push to start huh. Shout out one way, yeah, we taking off From the run in your bag, gotta get it all Need a house on the hill with it made in the bella No, we ain't the same, I was built a little tougher And I'ma go get it regardless Then my music be going retarded Cause I'll just have my phone with a plot so the money be calling the caller And I'ma go get it regardless Now my music be going retarded Cause all this on my phone with a plot So the money be calling the calling Hey, oh, you like to run it up Is you buy the bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up Oh, you like to run it up Is you buy the bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up Oh, you like to run it up Is you buy the bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up. Oh, you like to run it up? Is you buy the bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up. Hey, my money keep adding up. These haters they mad or something. I know I'm the best, I ain't worried about it. Head first in the money, I'm scuba diving. My money keep adding up. These haters they mad or something. I know I'm the best, I ain't worried about it. Head first in the money, I'm scuba 
just diving Oh, you like to run it up Is you about a bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up Oh, you like to run it up Is you about a bag or what? You got the cash or what? My money keep adding up Yo, yo, that shit was hard. That ain't beat drop. I was like, oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I had to like the, <laughs> the scrinch face. Or like, yeah, yeah. Hey, that's so looking, hot. Man. Um, before we get back on the, you know, the concept about the show and like how to be a prepared, a better performer. Yes, sir. Um, like, what was your inspiration for this song? Like, like take for me this the song, bag yeah. of what? Man, Don't me okay, so look, Just tell me. man, look, I'm gonna tell you exactly. <laughs> pro- bro, I'm at work, right? Uh-huh. So I'm like, man, I'm bored, bro. Like. <laughs> I need something to do. I'm like, I'm about to write, man. So I, I came across the beat. I'm like, okay, this is some jiggy. Uh-huh. I mess with it. I'm at work, bro. I'm like, man, I need a bag, bro. Like, I'm <laughs> tired of working. There. Like, I need a bag. Like, I, I'm about a bag. Is you about a bag? Because uh-huh. I'm about a bag of what, man. Uh-huh. And I just started writing, bro. And and, and, and my I, my press is how I do, bro. I, I, I listen to the beat. I start like freestyling over it, trying to get my flow right. Uh-huh, get, you a feel little, me? Yeah, get, yeah. get a little, get a little vibe to the beat. You uh-huh. feel me? And then I do my hook first. I come up with a hook, uh, write my hook down, and then I base my verse off my hook. So okay, okay. everything could be consistent. Yeah, like, yeah, I that's how talk you... about no, I, like the hook won't be different from my verse. Yeah, yeah, my I hate when people do that. Because you could tell like an amateur songwriter, they exactly. always. Exactly. Yeah, so, exactly. So you base your verse off the hook. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. y'all should yeah, exactly. definitely do that. I base my verse off my hook. I look at the sure. hook like, if you was reading a book, I look at the hook like a... um. Like a summary, and exactly. then the verse is supposed Thank to be like you. the pages, exactly. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. And the beat is like the cover. <laughs> yes, sir. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, I definitely mess with that. So I can't wait to see you perform it. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Especially too, Thank you had that consistent breath, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought yeah. you were gonna start bone thugs, <laughs> <laughs> no, <the> hey, <laughs> hey, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to get my my twist of vibes going on, man. <laughs> no, the song was hot though. Thank you, bro. So, Thank uh, you. What were we talking? about? We talking about? The eye contact thing. So you yes, say you yes. um you think you gotta work on the eye contact thing. Yes. So what uh what would be some of the things you think you're gonna do to work on that? Um as f- uh, like I I'm for sure just gonna like um uh, like um go back to my old videos uh-huh. and see okay, where am I looking at? You mm-hmm. feel me? Like, okay, I know I'm looking at this person, this person, this person, but my main focus should be where the most turned up part of the uh-huh. is, you know? So let me let me go to that side. So I'm going to just basically... Oh, okay. That, okay. You, you know, that like, makes sense. That so you makes say sense. it's more yeah. turned over yeah, here. Yeah, it's more turned over, over here. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to over here. But then if this side not talking, okay, I'm going to go back over here and make oh, sure okay. they turn up with me. So okay. let's everybody be on one page and, one, and you feel me? So we can just rock and, out. And I like what you're saying too, because one of the other things I had in mind was uh, using the whole stage. Yeah. So using you, the you just whole perfectly stage. slide into the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> and yes, this is sir. not rehearsed. Is rehearsed. Yeah, like, we know the concept we're yeah. talking about. But other yeah. than that, yeah, it's just raw. So, exactly. um, yeah. So I know you know what you're talking about. So yes, that's actually a good uh, strategy. So you said like, okay, using more eye contact for yes, one sir. to explain to them like you got to use eye contact. Yes, for sure. Especially for sure. if you're a newer sure. artist and people exactly. don't know you. Because it's like if you on stage, you're not looking at the crowd. You're not you trying to entertain the crowd. Mm-hmm. If you're looking at your homies or you're looking at the DJ, you want to turn around <laughs> and look at somebody else. Nobody ain't going to vibe with you. You can have DJ. a hard song. Your song could be hard. But if you don't perform it right and if you yeah, don't man. make sure like you get the message out performance-wise, the whole song, your whole it's yeah, I've seen look right. some people that the song was good, but the performance but the was performance underwhelming, made, and it exactly. made the song appear bad. Thank you. Thank I even you. seen other Thank other you. ways around. It was this one time I was uh, in Chicago. That's where I'm from. Yeah, and um, it was this one dude. His performance was so good. I thought the song was amazing, and yeah. I went back on YouTube. The song was trash. Trash. <laughs> but his performance <laughs> was so yeah good. But, but still, be good and do good. Yeah, don't facts. Be no trash, but, facts. But uh, yeah. So uh, that is a good concept. So you said uh, obviously keep eye contact because you got to engage with the audience. Yes. Like big facts. Like especially when they don't know you, it's it's almost like a conversation. Like yes. let's say we first met and I'm looking down. Like, exactly yeah, like, it's, like, it's like you don't respect me <laughs> yeah. or something like you know you scared you yeah don't me? Like, you know you scared of me or something right so it's almost like the same i look at performing or whatever it's like introducing yourself into a bunch of people or even like exactly. being a speaker like if you was going to a, a conference and the speaker yeah. looking down and exactly you know is the, like looking all confident like, what you doing yeah you don't believe in yourself they ain't gonna believe in you they ain't gonna believe in thank you that's exactly <laughs> what i was trying to say if you don't believe in yourself other people are not gonna believe in you mm-hmm. you gotta want it yourself for it before anybody else yeah so uh i do like when you were saying too as far as like the uh using like okay if they turned up on this part you go over there yeah not so what gave you the idea? Is it experience or what? Ex- like experience? Because like my my I'm gonna say my second performance, 
I'm I'm performing, you know. Uh-huh. I'm realizing, okay, like this left part of the side of the stage turned uh-huh. up. You feel me? <laughs> the right side want to turn up, but they trying to act too hard, <laughs> and they like, oh, you cool. feel me? So I'll go over there. I'm, I'm turned I'm up in my up. mind. Yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna let up. it come out. Exactly. <laughs> So I go over there. I'm, I'm hyping them up. They like, they like, okay, okay. I mess with you, bro. Uh-huh. Like, I, like you know, I low key when you performing, like you can hear, like kind of like when people say uh-huh. stuff. You can see their facial expressions. Exactly. Yeah. So they like, okay, bro, you hard, you hard, you hard. So they start turning up with me, uh-huh. and then eventually I got the middle to rock, left, middle, and right. So it was like, it was a go from there. Uh-huh. So that that part is from experience for sure. So was your first show okay when you did the first show? The one yes. was like you say you, you did your first time. Uh, what was the things you you would say you did good, and what was the things that looking back you would say that you didn't do so well? The the things yeah, that I d- you know we gotta take them back. We yeah, for back. sure, yeah. for sure, for sure. The 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 my first performance, what I did do good as far as like I came there prepared, mm-hmm. you know. So for, prepared for as one, in. I prepared as in having my music right, uh-huh. make sure like everything is cool, it's on the flash drive, whatever. My my stage presence, the look, you feel me? Oh, yeah, you dress gotta, right, yeah, dress yeah, you proper, <laughs> you know. That part was right, uh-huh. but as far as like the performance, my first time performing, I feel like my energy was too hype. I I was too I I put too much energy. Too much. I in. see what you mean. Like yeah, uh, around my first time, I did put. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. I put you know. too. I was bouncing around <laughs> too much, and I'm, I'm, I was using the stage right and stuff, uh-huh. but I was just bouncing around too much, and people was like, they was vibing, but they were like, okay, I can't low key hear what he's saying. Uh-huh. Like you know, that's what that would go back to where I was saying about the um, pronunciation and uh-huh. stuff. Make sure your breath right. So yeah. yeah, that probably was due to you know I me. Mean, well, at least you had energy. Cause yeah, no, yeah, my energy was never so it was too much. Most energy. people still, yeah, well, yeah at least it you was had too some. much energy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Because most sure. people just stand there like. So yeah. um. So how did you realize that you had too much energy? Did you look back and I, like I don't like I, it? Someone I told realized you. it like like in the middle of my so performance. you 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 study every little exactly increment, don't you? every you little like increment, bro. <laughs> every little increment. I I realized I had too much energy in uh-huh. the middle of my performance because I'm performing and I realized I got the crowd here. But they like, okay, like, he doing a little too much. <laughs> like, you know when somebody doing a little too much? Yeah, yeah. They like, okay, he doing a little I've bit seen too some much. People, like, he raw, yeah, but he yeah. doing a little too much. I've seen some performances where the artists had the look. Yeah, they, yeah. Uh, they they music was good, but they was doing too. It just didn't match the, like, the song in a sense. I don't know. It just was like, yeah, you doing a little too much. Like, build me up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So uh, how long did it take you to fix that? Man, at least to the point where you was like, you know what? I found my I found my bro, my style of performance. By the next time I performed, I oh, you got that? Down. I got it down, bro. <laughs> I, I looked at the videos. Okay, like you and, and mind you, this right. I, I be doing like my shows be like like a month apart, two weeks uh-huh. apart. Okay, so, okay. So it don't be like back to back to back, uh-huh. but um, yeah, like like I have studied it two weeks, two three weeks later, almost a month He's later. Probably losing sleep already. Yeah, I'm, yeah, right. I'm, I'm getting this right. Yes, for sure, for sure. <laughs> For sure, for sure. <laughs> so, so uh, do you think you're where you need to be as far as performing now? Like, for the uh, most part? I feel like uh, my goal that I had set, well, I met I that. I contest. I, yeah. I contact thing. Yeah. But other than that, uh, you think, like, what do you think you at now in your personal opinion? My, my personal opinion, I feel like I'm there. I feel like I got everybody, you know, they, they know I'm a performer. They know, like, okay, his music is good. You feel me? I'm starting to get, like, more support mm-hmm. from people, like, from all over, you know, mm-hmm. like. Hawaii and Cali and stuff oh, like that, you, you know. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to all my supporters too, by the way. And um, yeah, like uh, I I, I set my goals then. I met that goal. Mm-hmm. Now I got more goals. Mm-hmm. I need to I need to be more um, cre- creative for my 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 music and my. Mm-hmm. That goes back to what I was saying with the baby and so how he's mm-hmm. very creative. And yeah, like yeah, his yeah. Visuals and his performances. Mm-hmm. I feel like I need to get to that stage. Get to man. that stage. Yeah. Yeah. I feel for like sure, you will, sure. man, because obviously, yeah, you're very detailed. A lot of artists yeah, I speak to you. don't seem very detailed in the craft part too yeah, much. Yeah. Big fact. So, um, back to the performance part again. Yeah. So, uh, what else could we talk about for the uh, the uh, let's think back when we was newer. Um, so yeah. you said like you let him work on the eye contact. Big fact. And uh, so your future shows, you mm-hmm. okay? You said you was gonna start working on eye contact. As far yeah. as are you going to? like um just start doing it or you're gonna watch like uh, b- basically what i'm gonna do is i'm basically just gonna um, make sure everybody there for one you feel <laughs> me like make sure everybody we all on the same page uh-huh. and then i ain't gonna be like staring to souls or nothing but i'm just gonna be like 
Make sure I got it like a little, like they <laughs> understand where I'm coming from, you know. Like I'm just rocking out. Yeah, I ain't gonna be standing like just looking at them, like, oh. Trying to read their destiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to, trying to, you feel me? But I'm just gonna be like, you feel me? Glance, little glances, little glances, uh -huh. little glances, you feel me? And make sure they all turn uh -huh. So that's why I am now. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm still curious of how you gonna perform. Oh, yeah. I uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna get it right for sure, for sure. <laughs> I, man, look, I already started running. I ain't started doing the treadmill <laughs> and stuff, you feel me? I, my ref gonna be there. I, and then, like, uh, one thing I just noticed, bro, I performed at the um, Route to Clout Showcase. Out here. Uh -huh. Oh, like you did that one? Uh -huh. Yeah, I did Route to Clout. And I learned a lot, bro. And um, one thing I really did learn, and DJ So Hype was telling us, like, make sure you have performance sets. Don't rap over your... Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rap over uh -huh. your actual song. Make uh -huh. sure you want to have the hook in there with the ad libs, mm -hmm. and then when your verse comes, muted so it could be instrumental mm -hmm. and, and and it's crazy bro because i was like dang like I, I like i never thought about that but it makes so much sense you know people um people certain people do say that uh i wonder why did he tell you why yeah because he was saying like um you, you'd be able to hear what you're saying more oh, more clearly you hear what you're saying more clearly and like you like you'll you feel me? Attract the crowd more because they can hear what you're saying. Oh, the more natural, the voice. more natural voice. But it's not. He's saying he was saying like it, it ain't like a like a like a, like a big deal. Like we can see what you're saying. Uh -huh. but we want to hear what you're saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's something to work towards. Yeah. Okay. I need big to take that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, yeah. I was I took that note down. I'm like, okay, maybe I should start doing that. Uh -huh. So I think I'm gonna do that in my next performance for sure. So uh, as far as like your performance set, do you uh, do you just like let's say if they say you had four songs, do right. you just have them individually? Do you put them together, like mix them uh, together, or um, like, how do you usually do that? You know, it's crazy, bro. I'm j I'm just learned to do that. I I do them, but I, when I put them on my flash drive, I order them so like mm -hmm. they can go right into each other. But now mm -hmm. I'm just about to mix them into like one long one like you feel me. Mm -hmm. So like as soon as that song go over, it's transit to the other yeah yeah because uh what i was noticing the reason why i asked that because i was noticing yeah. like a lot of times when i was going to shows a lot of artists sometimes they get all mon like sometimes you leave too much into the dj hands and him you know yeah, what song to exactly, go to exactly exactly awkward like yeah talks and yeah like. but but even then but me before i make sure like okay you i'm about sure. to perform like okay dj look <laughs> go to you know backward then go right into god next and then after god next i, I make sure uh -huh. we do that but then like you know it'd be so much going on that show yeah, yeah. so the dj's probably like damn i forgot you know uh -huh. so and I, I, I just got to make sure everything is um on, on like one one yeah, little, yeah one little smooth transition, yeah, one transition. so what you say well like what's your uh, your little future your future plans you know what i mean with my music future stuff, plans man. with music man is the uh um exploit my talents more uh -huh. you feel me i feel like i got them they they know like I want to do music, mm -hmm. but I gotta really make, put it into him. Mm -hmm. Like okay, this is he's serious about what he's doing. You feel me? Like I'm a supporter. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I just gotta be like I said, be more creative. Um, basically, just keep doing what I'm doing. Always remain humble. Never forget like mm -hmm. where I come from. Never forget like God is the Most High. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like never forget none of that. Never forget who was down with you when you was low you yeah me? yeah yeah <laughs> never forget who was always there for you when you know that's when, another thing have some integrity exactly like, like yeah you know I mean? stand for something bro <laughs> never forget who was there when you feel me you was sending people song like oh what this sound like bro like uh -huh. i never forget my people <laughs> like i always do that too, you know and um you have certain people you uh you oh, kind of yeah, sure. get the stamp before you release yes, it for sure uh -huh. and, and they be real with you yeah they be real with me sometimes they be like oh, yeah bro this is a banger bro okay I would say like like my homie shout out Xavier man shout out my homie X like he'd tell me uh -huh. like oh yeah shout out my homie X he'd be like um bro I like this song but then he'd be like okay with you I could tell you more comfortable but just relax sometimes or like bro pronounce this or go back and you uh -huh. feel me go to the studio and re-record that part of the verse you know so I'd be like okay bet so how do you uh how do you <laughs> find people that you think that can um how like how did you find people that you think that'll be real with you but in a more constructive criticism way because some people are the yeah because you uh, just ain't famous yeah or some facts. people uh they just gonna lie so yeah. how do you find that how did you find that nice little man, man? It, it, it was <laughs> yeah I, I know exactly you know what some, about. i know exactly yeah, what some people too biased they yeah, just glad that you're trying something exactly say it's good. yeah or some people just gonna hate because you ain't yeah. famous so Big how do you how did you find somebody that's like they're gonna uh, be a realistic yeah like, like judgment and, like. and it's crazy because i didn't necessarily have to find them like the people i was already around uh -huh. they like tell me like okay like they're going to be real with me from the jump. Uh -huh. So I didn't really have to find them. But it was like my homies. Like I told them when I was telling them I'm going to do music and stuff. they like, okay, bad, bad, bad. Like, we're going to support you. But then, like, my, my first song I wrote, they like, no, nah, that's not it. 
No, no, no. Mm. My first, it was my second song uh-huh. I was going to put out. And they're like, no, 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 no. Your first one was hot. Uh-huh. You got to come with something similar to, your, <laughs> like, running out the bag was uh-huh. cold, bro. You got to come something similar to that. Shout out Chris. Chris told me that my homie Chris. Okay, shout out He's to like, Chris. yeah, bro. Uh, being real. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, he being real. Like, nah, bro, it's not it. I'm like, okay, bet, bet, Let me bet, go out bet, there and embarrass myself. Yeah, like, exactly. So <laughs> the then I, I wrote my song, Underrated, and I came out with Underrated, bro. And it okay, was, okay. It was bang, bang. Yeah, so that's good to have a, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can agree, having a, um, a supportive circle. Yes, it's sir. a good thing so yes sir like uh you said you didn't find them you just kind of they family right most yeah of them, they right? yeah family close friends you uh-huh. feel me day ones they they've been there okay. for sure for sure so uh all of them do music or something nah so okay so like i got family that do music then i got family that or like my homies that make beats mm-hmm. shout out my homie all day he, he make beats he basically make like 95 percent of my beats mm-hmm. you know he the producer he made the, that beat on that too no 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 uh-huh. he didn't make that beat okay specifically but my tape against all odds that i just dropped like in july he he produced and engineered like matter of fact what we get tell him where yeah. to find you at oh yeah I'll, yeah I'll yeah yeah you can find me on instagram <laughs> at o w at underscore o w tape bands you feel me at me on instagram i'm on all platforms apple music spotify soundcloud youtube anything at tay benz you feel me that's t-a-i-b-a-n-z not d-z it's b-a <laughs> i mean it's t-a-i-b-a-n-z tay benz i'm on facebook at tay tay larry um yeah man yeah yeah because I, I, I sure forgot because some phone yeah. calls came in so i forgot i was gonna do it at the beginning of the show no no but, you're uh, good you're good you're good <laughs> but uh yeah so you were saying like uh so uh he make most of your beats and stuff yeah big facts big facts he make most of my beats and um I got a, another homie. He wanted Chris actually wanted to get mm-hmm. into um filming like like the f- the directing part like mm-hmm. the um video shoots and stuff like that. And um basically, bro, like all my people is talented. Shout out Kendall too, my mm-hmm. homie Kendall. One way, uh, that that's our little uh our little brand or whatever. One way, uh-huh. and um we we trying to get like we we got two artists. You feel me? We trying to get like um you know more people that want to do like engineering okay uh, so y'all do. y'all have artists uh, yeah on we, y'all big like facts. label yes that f- personal question for me yes uh because i'm i want to get into that too pretty soon yes sir how do you find a particular artist? Now, this is just personal for me. Man, hey, this uh, Majo, I it's can ask crazy, personal for me too. So it, how, it, how do you, because yeah. I'm just getting one to get into this right now. Uh-huh. So from your point of view, teach me, mentor bro, me right now. Look, how bro, do you find artists like the right fit for what you're trying to do? Bro, it'll come naturally, bro. Uh-huh. It'll come naturally. Don't go out and looking for people. That's okay. how you're going to mess up, bro. Me and my homie Kendall, we came to, it was natural, bro. Like we was in, bro, I was in Dixie State, bro, like a year or two ago, bro, when I met my homie Kendall and uh-huh. he came, um, he showed me, he told me around the bag was hard, bro, bro. Like, we started freestyling together. And we, like, basically, bro, like, since that day, like, we, we both had the same vision, the same uh-huh. everything. Like, okay, this is what we want to do. I want to do clothing. I'm like, okay, me too. Uh-huh. And, you know, I want to do music. Okay, me too. Like, so we just came together, bro. And since that day, bro, that's been my homie. Like, he been real solid, for real, for real. And we been pushing, pushing music, pushing clothing, pushing shows and stuff like that together. So... I just say let it come naturally, let bro. Come Don't natural. go out looking for talent. Okay. You're going to come across that person you're going to look for. God going to put that person okay. in, you, in, in your life, bro. Yeah, because like I was stressing. Like, yeah, <laughs> don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. Don't stress, stress about it. it. Yeah, don't so stress I, about it. I learned it. a little something, too. So, uh, yes, sir. As far as the album you got out, is it uh, – you yes, got sir. an album out, right? Yes, sir. Is it's, it's a mixtape. It's a mixtape? Yes, sir. Is it uh, – Is on, you said it's on Apple Music? Apple Music, Spotify. Uh-huh. It's called Against All Odds. Against All Odds meaning – I'm going to explain why. Yeah, give me the backstory. I feel like I'm against all odds. I like to know backstory Yes. For like sure, bro. Yeah. Um, the the title against our odds, bro, is like coming up out of Vegas, bro. When you when you a Vegas artist or you want to do anything positive in Vegas, bro, people don't support you unless you mm-hmm. like already like kind of famous or okay. already got clout or you already you feel me. So it's like every time you want to do something in Vegas, it's like you you're not gonna make it. You're not gonna do this. You're mm-hmm. not gonna be support. You're not gonna have supporters. You're not gonna be big. You from Vegas? Like who made it out of Vegas? Blah blah. blah. I feel like I'm against all those mm-hmm. odds because I really feel like I got talent, you know? So that's why I named my tape against all odds. Like, whatever y'all say, whatever y'all feel about me, I'm against all of that, and I'm mm-hmm. going to keep my same mindset. And it took me a long time to get to that mindset, but I got it now. Oh, nah, yeah, it now like I got it. <laughs> I got it. It's a wrap, bro, because I'm really finna get in my bag. And, like, uh-huh. I'm like, I'm against all those odds, bro. Like, it's like, it's like with every, it don't have to necessarily be music, bro. In Vegas, you want to be a YouTuber, mm-hmm. or you want to, like, do, like, you know, clothing, or, like, you feel me, like, black businesses or like 
just mm-hmm. anything in general when it comes to Vegas, but people don't support, and then you get support from Cali, you get support from everywhere else. And it's I wonder like, why it's like dang. that. Man. I wonder if it's like that. Yeah. It was like that with me in uh, Chicago, exactly. Like, but I, I feel like that's what I was just about to say. I feel like it's not necessarily Vegas, I feel like that's what happened in anybody yeah, city I, they from yeah you know, i think like, it's an urban community it's like an urban community yeah. thing bro because like like say so <laughs> you're from key. chicago you uh-huh. want to get support of chicago so you can invade now you got support in vegas yeah now so. it's like i'm in vegas i bet <laughs> like, you feel like i got support in vegas don't get me wrong no, like no, I, bro, I got yeah. support in vegas and i, I and some some people i had to gain their support yeah i had to see some, my hustle some you feel there, me you but know. I, uh, like shout out to the ones that did. Yeah, know, exactly. Shout out, shout out to the people who all supported <laughs> me from day one. But that's why I named the tape against all odds because I feel like I'm against all those odds and making it out uh-huh. and making sure people see my dream and how I wanted to see it. You know, so that's why I feel like I'm against all odds. How did yeah. you get this mindset, man? How did you get this man, mindset, bro, it, bro? It, it came, bro. It was honestly, bro, it was a learning experience. Your mindset I, is it seems a lot more developed than the average. Quote unquote yeah. rapper, so yeah, thank you, bro. Like, thank you. How I did you how that. did you get this mindset, man? man it's a bro, family it, thing, or it, you? It, it, it was it was 50 50 mm-hmm. family thing pushing me to keep going, but then it's like I got a warning for myself, too. So mm-hmm. it's like personal experience, I was going through my own, mm-hmm. so it's like okay, now I got to put both and both together. I got that against all our mindset, so mm-hmm. it's like people. Like telling me like, man, don't don't let the people get into your head and blah blah blah. But at the same time, it's like we can't keep telling you what you got to do. You got to wonder for yourself yeah, too. Yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, uh, I see what y'all saying. So it took me like, oh, it took me like two three months, and I just got in my bag. I started writing, writing, writing. I'm like, I'm about to start my my first official mix because I dropped the EP last year. Mm-hmm. It's called Chosen One. I was like six six seven songs on there, and then um I came back this year and I dropped. Uh, and it was like in July I dropped against all odds part one. Mm-hmm. So that was basically like all my pain I was going through, all my you know like that that album basically represents like, well no matter what people try to put on you, if you fight you can make it go against those odds mm-hmm. for real for real. Don't let them odds defeat you and what you want to do. You mm-hmm. feel me? So that's why I put the tape out against all odds. Okay, okay, for sure, for sure. Yeah, man, that's uh that's real deep, man. I like uh. Good talk, man. I like um yeah, thank like, you, you bro. very you can you know, you get into detail a lot. So yes, uh sir. how long did it take you to make the tape or man, I, I plotted it, I started writing in December. Uh, and my homie shout out my homie all day, he was sending me beats. He well, like, first of all, I'm not to cut you off too. Do yeah, you for sure, when for you sure. fun to write a mixtape or album, yeah. do you say I'm writing one or do you collect or as the songs go on, you just pick like how do uh, what's your process? My process is bro, the, and this is specifically what against our odds, I did send me like four or five beats boom mm-hmm. boom boom he like okay choose the ones you like choose the ones you like so i'm, I'm writing them and um he just keep sending beats keep sending mm-hmm. beats i'm like all right okay i like this beat but scratch this beat oh, i ain't gonna like that beat i ain't gonna like that mm-hmm. beat. like okay I'm, i ain't gonna add that to the track list or whatever then i get the writing bro and i i, I take it song by song that's mm-hmm. how i do my tape i don't write like two or three songs i take it song by song so mm-hmm. i know like which fit how the order goes so by the time okay. i already got it recorded i already know which order i wanted mm-hmm. to go in so you write more I, you write more like an album mode exactly you know, to album, collections exactly, just, exactly that's it's, rare though. a lot yeah, of people don't do sure, that no more sure. man yeah exactly i write and once i once i put my mind to one thing i'm not finna like like i think i do have to learn how to do that as far as like if i'm trying to make it big learn how to do my own thing and still try to do features on the side yeah so yeah. you know like but when I was writing against our odds, I told nobody to take it personal, but I'm writing my own, mm-hmm. you know, my own little tape right now. Once I do my tape, for sure I hop on your song. For mm-hmm. sure I feel me do a tape with you, but I was in my bag and uh, since December to like like June, July when I dropped it. Mm-hmm. And I took my time with it. Yeah, it seemed to make sense because uh, the way you talk, it seems like you're an artist that like put a lot of thought into your stuff. So I feel like the type of fans you attract won't necessarily care if you flood it with a bunch of features and stuff. So, Big facts. You know, yeah, down the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah. down the line. Sense, yeah, 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 yeah. For sure. I honestly sure. think, like, the type of person you coming off, you put a lot of thought. So I notice, like, yes. a lot of artists that has more closer to thought-provoking music, they don't really have a bunch of features. Yeah, exactly. All over there. Exactly. So, yeah, man. So, uh, yeah, what well, you said it's on all platforms, right? All platforms. Lives, um, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, Google Play, Instagram Music, all of that, bro. So if you had about, let's say, if you had about... Hmm. Five songs you would want someone to listen to. That's because okay. you know some people got short attention span. They Big can't facts. Go. If you had five songs that you wanted to trap the, a new listener to, what would those be on that particular album? Man, for one, I'm gonna go off my wave. Pain away. Dreams to reality. Mm-hmm. Um. 
I want to say Big Facts featuring Keone, mm-hmm. my homie Keone Lee, and um, No Limit. I feel like No Limit, No okay. Limit is a is a is a banger on there. So what do you think? Why do you think these songs are the ones? Okay, so for one, Off My Wave is basically like like uh, um, the whole concept of that song is like, bro, like everybody like this. Basically, I was kind of like not even cocky, but like just get off my way. Mm-hmm. Like you know, I'm I'm bringing this real music in. Like everybody want to come back to the real music. Like I'm I'm me, and I'm finna pursue my way. Get off my way. Mm-hmm. Like get off my way. I'm dripping. Like get off my way. That I feel, and then the beat is catchy and it's hard. Mm-hmm. Like the beat it dropping, it's a cool beat. So I say off my way. Uh, Pain away, bro. It's like a that's the when I was going back to tell you like I was writing. All my like stuff I was going through, like mm-hmm. how I was like I was against all odds, and Pain Away is a good song to really know what I've been through. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Really know like why did I write that tape and what affected me? Like how how why was I in that type of mindset? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like what made me get there? So Pain Away, I say, um, is a good song. Big Facts is a good song to me because like <clears throat> it's crazy, bro. When I we recorded that song and like shout out to Keone and I, they recorded that song like I want to say like. 10 20 minutes bro uh-huh. and it came out to be like one of the best songs off the tape because uh-huh. like my shout out my homie keone his flow is it's cold <laughs> his flow is cold and the hook i did the hook and he he just went in bro he low-key freestyled and then i think he came back and wrote another verse on it but it's like big facts it's like uh, uh, i'm living my dream big facts you know I, you ain't seen what i seen that's big facts like you know big facts mm-hmm. is like a, a slang yeah, yeah. everybody's saying like big facts oh that's uh-huh. facts like you ain't seen what i seen that's big facts like you know, and then um, no limit, bro. I dropped no limit, bro. Everybody went crazy over <laughs> no limit. Like no limit was a as a banger, banger. Like uh-huh. the beat in general was like just cold. Like the beat, like I I mess with no limit too in a way because it's like what I was talking about. It was like a beat to where like if somebody like else was rapping over it, it'd just be a bunch of like drugs or on um, uh-huh. like, like I was talking about some real stuff uh-huh. on a hard beat. <laughs> you know, so it's like like a like nice a, little balance. Yeah, and stuff. exactly. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, so I'm definitely uh, big facts. I'm definitely gonna check it out. Tell people where yeah. to follow you. You know the show's Fo- almost yeah, over. Yeah, yeah. Got big next facts. show coming up. Dope show. Yeah, right. thank so you. So yep. tell them uh, where to follow you and tell them where to find your album. At. Yeah, look, find me on Instagram. I, that's where I'm most active at at o o w underscore tay bands. That's t a i b a n z. Give me a follow. I'm following everybody back. Literally, whoever followed me, I'm following you back. Um, the tape against all odds is on all platforms. Uh, Apple Music, Spotify. Um, Google Play, SoundCloud, any platform you can think about. Just search up. You, it's on YouTube. Check out my No Limit video, underrated video, running up the bag video. I got another video coming soon on the 25th. Dreams to Reality off the tape. You feel me? Um, yeah, man. I got a show coming up in Reno. Shout out to Kendall. Shout out to uh, shout out to One Way. We doing uh, we opening up for Haiti Baby and Capital 304 in Reno on December 6th. I got tickets. If you need tickets, let me know. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, for I'm, sure, for sure. I'm up here laughing. Uh, whoever Michael is, he said you got some a dope song. Drop the lead. We definitely gonna drop the lead. Yeah, he gonna oh say, yeah, I got you. I'm no, gonna drop no, no. Let's start laughing. Wish y'all would interact with the crowd. <laughs> hey, don't come at us. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't. Back. Hey, listen, get information. Don't come at us. No, I'm just playing with you. But uh, yeah, y'all know what it is. Follow me at E R I C underscore S T C K Z. Frequent. Let's get it. Let's get it.